it's a support. That's what I was mentioning. You and I were both mentioning this. We said it could be a jungle of nature's profit or a support nature's I didn't profit. Really, I didn't really think it would be, but then again, EG don't run NP, so you don't really know how they play it. This is kind of interesting to me. I mean, like, I'm, I'm curious to to wonder what the build is in terms of not not itemization but your skill build I, I don't know what you go for i don't know how you get your farm it's a little bit more space in getting experience and obviously getting items as well they're going on universe bottom though this could be the first blood mana for that arcane bolt coming in very soon very far but it's the arcane bolt that will do the job for ake as he's out of clarities now but with that last clarity he's able to secure the kill Seven build mod, it's coming back. Double no tally. Maybe People have been talking kill. about bringing speed gaming back, bringing Cloud9 back. Meanwhile, though, they move on mid. Defensive shot, Arcane Bolt, Ignite as well. There's going to be a nightmare to save him for the time being. Here still taking a lot of damage, but no fall. Oh, look at that damage, like you talked about. No armor, and Zai just brings him down. That's before the next no tally comes in. By sheer virtue of. But there, is a, a but there is a Skyrath, and there's a three pretty good stuns. Dragon Tail. Uh, Sven stun and the Ogre stun. Alliance converging on top. They are They'll supposed to get the tower, up. but they might lose the Earth because of it. There's the agency on one. Dai's already backed out, and Sumail is going to fall almost instantly. Skyrath just destroys Timbersaw. Oh, they killed Dai as well. He just got caught by Bulldog in the backside mm -hmm. flanking through, and that is plenty of damage when he pops the Insatiable Hunger. Maneuver, but they're going to go for it. Alliance are looking for their first big fight of the game after taking that engagement top lane. Sumail might be the target. Picked up his point booster as his Bloodstone recipe as well, but it might be delayed if he gets caught by S4 the blink and he's initiation. Got, he's got the dragon cell ready to go. He finds him. And there's the Mystic Flare on top with the Ancient Seal and that is a dead timber. He dies fast. And he's dead for 42 as well. It just goes to show that Sumail was farming well as up in experience but he dies so quickly to Ancient Seal with uh, any other. A decent amount of uh, and you need to get the jump but they don't have a blink on tide so they may have to go for a bait play try to convince Alliance to come in too deep and here's that opportunity mod. They're sieging. They're going to go for it. Universe Smoke will break now. They'll back up seeing the Tidehunter under the tower. They want to be careful. They're going to TP away. No, Fear has been caught, and they will find the stun with S4. There's the Stormhammer. Fear will immediately die. He was behind and enemy Bulldog. lines. Bulldog looking to collapse on the tower. They, would, they should get the CG should back up. I don't think you could contest this 4 versus 5. Oh, even with Ravage. There they go. S4 jumps in. He finds the stun in the Universe. Ravage available. They hit him onto everyone, but they just don't have the damage. The Ancient Seal's up on his fail. He will fall. He's dead for 10 after getting that blood still but Universe trying to TP out. I do not think he'll make it away, but he was so close. He gets the cleave off the modem, we'll get the kill, and now PBD is next. We'll end up falling. Four kills going the way of Evil Geniuses, and S4 finds a double alliance. Wow, do they look good. They might be in position to 2-0 this series. Got any wards down for EG, unfortunately, and that's just the story of this game right now, isn't it, LD? Meanwhile, Alliance rushing in. They've scouted out Universe. Can they force out that Ravage? If not, he may just get solo killed by S4 with right clicks, bringing him down quickly. They won't dive. They have a severe advantage, a distinct advantage, but they won't die. Brood has BKB already, so she is also essentially invulnerable in these fights. But that's another. It off. This is another issue. I mean, a She's going in. Ravage is going to jump in. Stun on it too. Ravage will come out, but Subail Mystic Flare coming in. He's about to fall and will. I will TP, but it's already too late as EG are getting routed, LD. They have no chance. Completely forced back. Bulldog Lane into Universe. Gets up the Echo Saber Frog. A Blink forward on his eye. Four. Make it five. EG. Can take G -G. Out. It's G -G. G -G. My god. Oloda ends it with an ultra kill, and with this win, Alliance have scrapped and clawed their way back from a terrible day one start. I think it was two and four, it was almost worse. And they are in the upper bracket, TNC, regardless of the result in the, the game that they were previously playing, it's not gonna matter. Such a great showing by TNC, but still down to the lower bracket they go.